ANU has for a long time been taking a lead in education for sustainability. In 2006, the College of Business and Economics joined this in a fairly significant way when we began what we understand to have been Australia's first undergraduate major in corporate sustainability. I uh, did a course called Corporate Sustainability in the uh, first semester of last year and uh, that course um, kind, of, uh, kind of changed my life. I had the opportunity to teach the Corporate Sustainability course. That's one of the courses that uses campus as classroom as its core learning tool. One of the things that's important about the campus as classroom concept is that it suggests to us that learning doesn't just have to happen in the classroom. Here on campus we have so many opportunities for students to learn about sustainability in practice. What I do is I've created a, a model for research-led learning in water. So I bring my students down here so that they can learn how to, to monitor water quality, how to measure it, analyse it. And so in this sense, this is the perfect classroom for hydrology and water resources management. Why would you sit within a controlled environment lecture theatre when you can basically be out within the landscape and, and actually learn with the, the whole range of the sensory perception? Yeah, you can touch it, feel it, smell it, so to speak. As people move around the campus all the time, that they're part of that campus and the campus may as well be part of the educational process. The Fenner School is bringing its uh, undergraduate students out here and using this as uh, an on-campus uh, field site. The lecturer there, Chris McElhinney, has been bringing the students out to train students on how best to measure uh, these woodlands. It's one thing to have the theoretical aspects in your classrooms, but to be able to come out and look at the campus that we've got and the systems that are set up here and do the practical on-ground work makes everything much more real and you can see how what you've learned in the classroom is applicable in real life. Amongst the projects that the students worked on was looking at the artificial turf on Willows Oval. How do we get the best possible environmental impact given our limited financial resources? Here we are at uh, Willows Oval, it's uh, our, our Generation 4 synthetic oval facility. The last oval we had was on a grey water program, but with this product we've got a 50,000 litre tank. We were able to ship the, the grey water away down to University Avenue and they're able to use that on, on the landscape. This oval doesn't require any water, which is handy, and we're also collecting water. The real-life projects we run that are to do with campuses classroom identify real-world projects that really need decisions, actions, knowledge. We put them together and we pitch it to a bunch of students. My name's Nick Enger and I'm a PhD student at the Fenner School of Environment and Society here at the Australian National University. And I moved all the way here from the United States to take up study here because we have a really exciting project going on here with solar energy. And if we do this correctly and we learn how to do this, which is part of my research, we'll be able to have solar panels on every building at the ANU sometime in the future, powering this campus with green, sustainable energy. This is the hot rot in vessel composting unit, and this is integral to the ANU organic recycling program. But there is a very important education position with this whole project where we have undergraduate students and postgraduate students preparing reports and studies on the hot rod. Most of the research is directed towards getting something to work in the lab and then trying to implement it in, in you know, an actual real life situation. I on the other hand have the opportunity of, of working on something that we know can have real implications and can be used in real life. We take all the waste up to a tonne a day put it into this machine and in 9 to 11 days we make this composite that is accelerated compost basically and a few months later we have compost which can be used on the garden and grounds at the ANU closing the loop. You know we produce about 15 kilos of waste a day through vegetable peelings and uh, student leftover food. It's all then sent back through the ANU hot rod process that then goes on to our gardens. Students had scholarships from ANU Green and they engaged with me and we discussed our menu options. We now, through their interaction, buy from these local suppliers. So we get lots of fresh and ongoing local food. One of the things I've enjoyed most about working with the Campus Sustainability Program is getting a chance to work with students from all disciplines across campus. I have no doubt that they'll be able to go out and make very positive changes in the world. 
The Go Green Get Lean Challenge was an idea I had as an undergrad student. Uh, the ANU Sustainability Office were happy to uh, support the idea by providing me with an internship. You can um, really appreciate the fact that you're getting fit and um, saving on petrol. It aims to get participants to become more active, commute more sustainably by leaving the car at home. Getting the program up and running initially was quite a challenge, but it was really worthwhile. It was a great learning experience and it definitely resulted in some real great changes to the participants' lives. Most students take up the challenge. Most students actually are really happy to do a project which is dealing with the real world and where there's a chance that they could actually make a difference through the work that they do. All of these come together to help build that, that culture of sustainability that not only they practice while they're here, but hopefully take with them when they leave the campus.